It seems like scientists are publishing fascinating discoveries every day. From extraterrestrial findings to crashing planets, there is a lot of research to interest just about everyone. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries which will have you questioning how much you know about our planet and beyond. Traces of extraterrestrial organic matter found in South Africa's mountains For the first time, scientists have discovered evidence of extraterrestrial organic matter in terrestrial rocks. The discovery is further confirmation that we have a lot to learn from the meteorites that have hit Earth for billions of years. The new evidence comes from South Africa's Makwanja Mountains, specifically the Joseph Stahl Chert, a volcanic deposit. The mountain range houses many of the planet's oldest rocks, but it turns out that for some of the rocks, it is more than just their age that is interesting. When astrobiologist Frances Westall and her team investigated the Joseph Stahl shirt in 2019, they discovered a rock layer that gave off two anomalous signals. Electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy, also known as EPR, showed that the 2 mm thick and 3.3 billion year old rock layer contains two distinct forms of insoluble organic matter. The two types of matter seem to have extraterrestrial origins, making them the most ancient extraterrestrial organic matter ever found. The first EPR signal bears resemblance to carbonaceous chondrite. Carbonaceous chondrites are segments of primitive meteorites that contain organic compounds. The second anomalous signal consists of nickel, chromium, and iron nanoparticles. The presence of these metal nanoparticles, which are not normally found in terrestrial rocks, also indicate an extraterrestrial background for the rock layer. The metals take the form of cosmic spinels, which are created when space objects, like meteorites, enter Earth's atmosphere. Researchers are unsure how the two distinct anomalous signals came to coexist within the same thin rock layer. The combination of organic compounds and cosmic spinels is puzzling as hydrogenated organic matter requires temperatures less than a few hundred degrees for survival, while cosmic spinels are created because of the intense heat that melts space objects as they descend through Earth's atmosphere. One possible explanation is that a hail-like shower of micrometeorites combined with volcanic ash clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. Once the matter reached the surface, the extraterrestrial carbon and cosmic spinels were preserved in the same layer of sediment for billions of years. According to Westall, for this to be possible, the organic matter from the carbon-rich meteorites must have been raining down at quite a high rate. Researchers also question the previous form of the organic matter. It is possible that it is connected to the origins of life on Earth. After all, many scientists believe that life on Earth was made possible at least partially through extraterrestrial molecules. The unknowns from the Joseph Stahl Chert discovery are what make it particularly exciting. We are left with no choice but to wonder if the matter could have come from an ancient alien exploration to Earth. Scientists watch distant exoplanet collision. Researchers are discovering that planetary collisions occur much later in the history of a star system than originally thought. In 2019, scientists recorded warm dust in the star system BD plus 20307 for the second time. The amount of dust was a 10% increase from observations made a decade earlier. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope is responsible for the original debris sighting. But the new data comes from SOFIA, which stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. SOFIA is an airplane telescope owned by NASA and the German Aerospace Center. SOFIA is managed by NASA's Silicon Valley-based Ames Research Center, alongside the university's Space Research Association in Columbia, Maryland, and the German SOFIA Institute of the University of Stuttgart. The Boeing 747SP jetliner and the 106-inch diameter telescope that make up SOFIA is operated by NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Palmdale, California. SOFIA's telescope revealed the 10% dust increase thanks to FORECAST, which stands for Faint Object Infrared Camera, which can measure infrared brightness. The increased dust is seen as an extra glow beyond what the stars produce themselves and beyond the measurements taken 10 years previously. 
These changes in the amount of dust within the small span of 10 years suggest that scientists now have the opportunity to study planetary collisions in older exoplanet systems. While dust is not exclusive to collisions, warm dust is not typically found in aged solar systems, and this system contains billion-year-old stars. Planets are originally formed from dust that orbit stars and gradually stick together, forming masses. In new solar systems, leftover debris is easy to come by, but eventually remaining dust particles crash into each other and become so small that they are blown away from the system or pulled into a star. Increased glow in dust can also be explained by extra heat absorption or migration towards stars, but this is not thought to occur in such a short time frame. Therefore, researchers are convinced that a relatively recent collision between two Earth-like exoplanets is causing the dust. This collision, which likely happened only a few hundred thousand years in the past, may have caused a domino effect of other smaller collisions that create more of this warm dust. While this type of collision happens frequently in younger systems, it is not expected to occur in a system as old as BD plus 20307. While planets crashing may sound like a disaster, this solar system is 300 light years away, and scientists are excited to observe how the aftermath plays out. It will now be possible to study how a solar system evolves after such a significant impact. We already know that similar collisions have important effects on solar systems. It is thought that our moon is formed from debris created 4.5 billion years ago from a collision between Earth and an object the size of Mars. Now we have the chance to witness something similar in real time. According to Alicia Weinberger, lead investigator and scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science, this is a rare opportunity to study catastrophic collisions occurring late in a planetary system's history. Hopefully, further observations of the system will help scientists learn more about the evolution of the exoplanet system, leading us to understanding more of our own solar system's past. Chances are, we will soon have the answers to what happens when planets collide. HD169142 In 2019, scientists spotted a newborn exoplanet in the outer rings of the star HD169142. This star is 1.7 times larger than our Sun, approximately 370 light years from Earth, and part of the constellation Sagittarius. HD169142 was studied using a system of radio telescopes called the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA. Researchers looked at the star's protoplanetary disk, a surrounding ring of gas and dust that ultimately clumped together, forming planets and asteroids. Unsurprisingly, researchers found some gaps in the inner protoplanetary disk. This is likely caused by the formation of at least one massive protoplanet. What shocked researchers were the thinner gaps and rings observed in the outer portion of the disk. In this region, scientists expect to see wider and smoother rings. It was determined that this anomaly was most likely formed by an exoplanet about 10 times the size of Earth that has migrated towards the star. Researchers believe that the planet originally formed 69 astronomical units away from HD169142, but then migrated closer to 64 astronomical units. According to the study's lead, Sebastian Perez of the University of Santiago in Chile, the community has made great progress on interpreting these sharp rings seen in young planetary systems. This one and other similar experiments open new possibilities of characterization of super-young extrasolar planets. Although the thin rings are unusual, it seems that the mystery has mostly been solved. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries from around the world? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.